Uh, so tonight we saw the top three teams in the Eastern Conference uh, all in action. Boston losing to Cleveland and Toronto losing at Phoenix. Let's bring KG and Kevin McHale in. Two legendary Kevins from, <laughs> Why is it uh, Kevin? from Area 21. <laughs> so but Kevin what happened in the lights on that side? It's Who's that guy right? in the middle? It's all good. <clears throat> and that's, that's Willie Lopez, you know what I'm saying? As, as, you know, as, as my dog Shaq is going through you know, a tough night with the light and stuff, and Kareem is, we're, we're going we're gonna to kill our light too, Diesel. I'm with you, bro. Thank you, brother. I appreciate right. I'm it. I'm with you, bro. First right. of all, you brothers are too dark not to have light on you, both of you. <laughs> hey, you know what? You know what? Stop I'm it. too white to have all Stop this light it. on Stop me, it. Chuck. What's going on? Nice Get on. This was halftime. This was halftime after Shaq had complained about the lighting meeting. They complained. I asked. Right. Yeah. So I'm uh, but then you went upstairs with a stick and hit yeah. a light. But I, I do have a question for uh, both KG good, good. and Kevin, because two guys who were great in the low post. And obviously, one was a mentor to the other, Mikhail being to Garnett. Right. You know, how prevalent will the low post game be in the next five years? We, we, we see all the stretch fours, and we talk about it all the time, but here are two guys that were sitting down there. You know, obviously, Diesel is one of them as well, but we're talking about guys who the skill was magnificent over the power. So what do you two guys think that's going to happen in the next five years. Mm, I Thank think, you. well, tonight, uh, you know, we kind of talked about, you know, the evolution of the post and it coming from, you know, Wilt and, you know, Elvin Hayes and, um, and that's, you know, just when you think about the post it being a big man, pounding physical presence, and then all of a sudden around the 80s, you start to see, um, you know, the Kevin McHale's, the Jack Sigmas, the Charles Barkley's, Adrian Dantley's guys that took the post and took a, a finesse kind of approach to it. And it kind of really birthed, you know, myself, Chris Bosch, uh, the, the, uh, Rasheed Wallace, uh, Chris Weber, uh, even Dirk Nowinski, guys, you can, Tim Duncan, you can throw in there that, uh, kind of more to <clears throat> kind of shaped us to what we are. And what I mean by that is, you know, before you had Wilt, Shaq, strong guys being grit, then you see another style of post, and it was really transformed by, you know, the Sigmas, the Adrian Dantley's, the Kevin McHale's, using pump fakes uh, from not just verticals, but at angles, uh, using the backboard, uh, up and unders, and stuff like that to really, to where you get to, you know, my, my, my class, and we was more uh, face-up shooters, being able to put the ball on the floor. Uh, we didn't shoot a lot of threes. Uh, Dirk and uh, she probably shot more threes. Uh, from guys I have the guard. Um, and that, now, what you see now, you have Carl Anthony Towns, you have Anthony Davis, you have, you have Boogie, you have these different bigs. And now it's almost like the precedent that you have to be able to put the ball on the floor. You have to be a stretch floor. You have mm -hmm. to be able to shoot threes. You have to be able to make 17 to 19 footers. And um, when I think of the evolution of the post, I think of all of this. And, um, you know, it just puts it to the current to where we have our guys now. And, you know, these guys now are kind of refreshing to see because they have all of these things we, 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 that we're talking about. Hey, Kevin, yeah. can you hear me? Kevin uh, Garnett. Yeah, I can hear you. You know there's only a 30-minute show, right? <laughs> hey, Charles, quit being disrespectful. Come on, man. 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 Come I think that the big man will come back. I think you're going to get some guys that are so good down the post that you're going to have to throw the ball to them. I, you know, and the, hey, two points is two points. You start going in the paint, you get fouls. You can play out of the paint. You can pass it out of there. It'll come back. But right now, the big guy is just – there's not a lot of big guys in our league that just go down the paint, right. play in there, play inside. It's evolved to a more of a perimeter game. But I do believe you're going to see some bigs come in in the next few years. They're just going to be dominant, and you are going to give them the ball. You know what I think, Glass? I think Kevin, uh, Kevin's and I had to take it over. I think the win, it's not really that if you can shoot the three, if you can stay on the floor. It's if you can guard the three right now. So if right. you can guard the three, mm. then you could still play inside. But right. if you're not able to guard it, then you can't yeah. play on the other end because you're giving up three to two. But guys like Carl Anthony Towns, Anthony Davis, they're able to guard the three so they could still post up on the offensive end. I think that would be the difference. That's a good point. Absolutely.
Totally and, good point. And, and I actually think, I think the other way around, I think they've kind of re relegated the big man out the game to a fault. Because if you look at the NBA now, I think it's the worst it's ever been, in my opinion. They, everybody want to use analytics and everybody want to shoot threes. Well, threes are great if you have a Steph Curry, a Klay Thompson, guys like that. And these guys can live by threes. These two are the greatest shooters ever. But now, if you look around the NBA, everybody's trying to go small. We got a bunch of guys shooting threes who are not good shooters. We, like I say, now we're trying to relegate the big man out the game. But if you look at the big picture, and this ain't no old guy hating on the young guys. The NBA, to me, is the worst it's ever been top to bottom. Mm. We got one or two, three or four good teams, and the rest of these teams stink. And I think if we, there is a happy medium. Hey, Chuck. Yes, sir. Hey, Chuck, can you hear me? Yeah. Hey, you know this only a 30-minute show, right? <laughs> <laughs> That was a long-winded answer, man. Yeah, it was but it is. I think answer. that we... Oh, you're going to keep going, too? Yeah, I, oh, yeah, right. Because you chuck. Wow. I want to make it... Wow. Wow. Okay, I want to make a second win. You said you We don't have to live and die by threes. I, I, I don't... People think I hate analytics. You do. I, 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 I hate analytics when you try to justify the, the way to, to, to figure out how you're going to win. If you go back and look at the NBA for the last 30 years, you know who won the championship? The team that had the best players. Now, Golden State had the little run because they got two of the greatest shooters ever live, live. But they got pounded on the boards in the finals. And big man's always going to be relevant, no matter what anybody says. And I told you, a lot of these guys like analytics because they need a job for their son-in-law. Right. Yeah. They're playing the music. <laughs> that's all we have. That's No, KG, right. that's the music like that they play when oh, like, he's supposed out. to get off the stage in the awards show. <laughs> they <laughs> faded both of y'all out, too. You need to fade Chuck out, too. Fade him out of the lights, too, man. You over here doing it, man. I don't need all them lights. Them brothers need lights, Chuck. Oh, man. I don't need no lights, right. right. I'm uh, shining them out. Right. Apparently, we have, a, we have a tweet. KG in his prime versus McHale in his Ooh. prime. Ooh. Ooh. I'm going to give it to Mac. Mac showed us. Mac is unguardable. Mac had to be double team, triple team. <laughs> you know, he taught me. It's only right. I'm, 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 That's I'm a, a great question. Homage. I'm going to pay homage. That's not a great question. They both great, great, but Kevin McHale's great. the best player out of the Nice work, Kevin. You can't speak because you the best player you right. played oh. against don't mean it's not the best player. Kevin McHale. Uh, That's not the best player. Oh, look at this. Look at the best player somebody else played Come on, man. This guy's the best player I've played against. I'm not saying that you. It doesn't mean that Kevin Garnett didn't have all of this. Ooh, all of this too. Oh, oh goodness! Oh, 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 give me that! Give me that! Oh, there you go. Oh. Right. Uh, hold on, hold on. Oh, 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 dream shake, bro. Yeah. What's he Come doing, guy? You watch out, Irv. Stay out of oh, this oh, business. Oh, oh, bigger. Stay out this business, man. Stay out this business. It's not as clear cut as you think. Ain't no man. Listen, I ain't worried about no man who wears skinny jeans. It always goes back to that. Always goes. Hey, Happy New Year, KG. One leg at a time, Chuck. One leg at a time. KG, Kevin McKay. Happy New Year, y'all. Same to you guys. Right, same man. to you guys.